Okay, so we're sitting here with the Reverend Jesse Jackson, who's in Puerto Rico um, assessing, right, the, well, the magnitude in, of our... in Chicago, African-Americans and uh, Puerto Rican-Americans came together and mobilized a plain load of food hundred and product, 150 to 8,000 pounds on FedEx okay. plane here to, uh, to San Juan. Uh, we talked with the governor, they needed generators and medicine and water and food and finances. Mm -hmm. The mayor seems to have the same concerns. So we brought a plane down, no doubt there's enough product to fill up another plane. Okay. We're concerned about the Virgin Island as, as well, because both are sure. American citizens. We both need certain things from the people and certain structural things from the government. For example, one observation we made is that the uh, the Jones Act, the Second World War Act, which has no real application today, is an impediment to getting product in. Product from Cuba, or Mexico, or South Africa has to go by way of America to get here first. Mm -hmm. That does not express a sensitivity to the emergency nature of the disaster. Sure. So we think the Jones Act should be suspended at least for a year. That's eight that can happen. Will you right be taking now. that concern to Congress? Absolutely. When? Uh, immediately upon the return. Okay. The second is there should be a debt relief and forgiveness program. When the Europe was flattened by bombs, that's what we did. Now this has been flattened by a series of hurricanes. Mm -hmm. uh, we made for Europe debt forgiveness, 50 loans or 2% government secured the zero interest loans, investment and security through NATO, and so they made it back. Puerto Rico is, is as devastated. 250,000 homes mm -hmm. destroyed. The people tonight will be in the in the dark without a roof in the rain. Sure. It's hard to think of what that's the rain every day, it seems, during this season of the year. Right. So that the other thing we, we must do, it seems to me, is to have a, a, a firm, the Americanness mm -hmm. of the crisis in Puerto Rico and in Virgin Islands and own it and put forth a plan for, for reconstruction. What have you seen in, in the day or two that you've been here? We've seen hard work by people on the ground. FEMA, workers are hard. There's not enough of FEMA, it seems to me. As the products are coming into the marketplace, if, if people can guarantee it will come, FEMA's guarantee will be distributed and use of helicopters to do airlifts where the people are. It could very well mean in the short run that students who may face closed schools should be evacuated to America mm. and stay with relatives until they choose to come back home. Uh, seniors who are sick can be evacuated to the hospitals on the mainland. Mm -hmm. That kind of creative thing can happen. That was a big problem, but it, it has a, yeah. a defined university, three million people. Uh, if 250,000 homes are uh, in that disrepair, then they mean in that many tarps. Mm -hmm. And we don't have them for sure, not yet. Well, so I mean, you, you can quantify, project the number of tops that you need, uh, what the impact of the Jones Act would mean if you if you cut the red tape on that. You can quantify what it means uh, to bring in enough, enough generators uh, and uh, food. The truth is that some homes are completely flattened. They're not even there anymore. So the reconstruction is also um, a significant um, undertaking that has to happen quickly, no? It, it is, but some homes are, are barely standing and people are still staying there to keep their last prized possessions and it's raining. And 85% uh, of the people in Puerto Rico still have no light. Uh, and they still are uh, wondering will help come anytime soon. It must come soon. Mm -hmm. And there's something we can do right now, some things are medium range and some things are long term. What's right now? Because people are desperate. What's right now? Medicine right now, generators right now, the food right now, water and water filters right now, uh, suspending the Jones Act right now so product can get directly in from other countries who want to help right now. Mm -hmm. And then right now as the product gets to the to the to the ports, uh, deliver it to where and we're gonna work out a, a church to church, home to home, friend to friend relationship, so people can pick up the product at the port and move on. Okay. What have you done in San Juan that I know that you've been with Mayor Cruz? What have, where have you been? What have you done with her? Well, to, to hear her agenda. So we mm -hmm. go back to the country, put on the phone, you see with Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Okay. And the mayor of uh, Flint, Flint, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And the mayor of uh, Houston, Texas. Okay. City to city type thing. I see. 
and with the governor, governor, the governor type thing. There's, see, some things Reagan, I mean Bush, Trump can do. Some things he need not do. If he, if he would just focus on suspending the Jones Act and renegotiate debts mm -hmm. and incentivize investment, that's what he could do that rather quickly. Others, in fact, the, the, the states will supply many products and resources. Mm -hmm. and so will the cities if we know what precisely what the needs are. Now, how, you know, do you think there has been a problem with bureaucracy, and and that course, might also have to do with the of, fact of that? Of course, it is. 150,000 pounds of fish in the market in uh, Miami today. They just can't get here. We should be able to get that food over here, over here immediately. But there are some sick people who need uh, dialysis treatment in life. They could be evacuated to American hospitals and they would be received immediately. Children who need to go to school this year could be evacuated and see with relatives or friends or church right now. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of things that can happen right now. Other things take a more medium, long range financial approach. Um, do you think that it might be a problem if we have a, you know, a mass exit, which is happening right now uh, from Puerto Rico to the U.S. mainland, um, in terms of you know, actually recovery, uh, you know, local recovery, I mean, if people leave. Well, people have the right to go from one state to another. I remember when Katrina struck, mm -hmm. uh, part of the budget in FEMA was evacuation to Houston, okay. to Baton Rouge, to New York, to Chicago, to L.A. Uh, people have the right to evacuate. They may choose not to, but they certainly have the right. Any citizen of Puerto Rico, an American citizen of Britain, have the same options any other American has go from place to place and state to state. We should not be able to try to contain them for reasons of our own politics. That wouldn't be fair for them. Some people don't have the money to travel. So. Well, then, then they're, they're, they're trapped, but they must have the option to travel. Sure. What about the USBI? And, 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 and they must not be paid gouging ticket prices just to leave either. What about the USBI? Are you going there, or what are you doing with them? We plan to. You plan to? We when? Plan to. We don't know yet. Don't know yet. OK. Have you been in touch with, with the governor? We've been in touch with the government. With the government at the USBI. Yes. Okay. Okay. They have probably more more necessity right now. They they were hit by two hurricanes. And Puerto Rico's in the dark. Yeah. The is, is in, is in the dark. Double, double dark. And they also don't have. I don't think they have running water yet either. They have every problems here and maybe magnified. Far less focus on them. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor. Thank you.